Match five, Bangladesh A versus Oman A. And this is uh, how the action went about uh, in the morning uh, session. The fast bowlers are really good. They were really on the money from ball number one. Really caused the problems to the uh, openers. That is the first wicket to fall. Good catch, the debutant going. And then that is a big wicket, that of the captain, Ayaz. Ilias, rather. And then a slight partnership uh, building up uh, between Ayan coming down the track and getting boundaries and uh, six. And then uh, another one on the offside. Then really read, misreading the line. And then, and then yeah, the wicket falling uh, in quick succession. Then another partnership uh, gradually build up, but then it took a lot of time for them to get things uh, moving. Paul tried to keep things going with Shoaib, but uh, that was a good catch in the deep. And uh, we must talk about that. And next, Paul tried to make a move on, but couldn't. And, uh, there you go. Bangladesh made sure that they held on to all the catches that uh, came their way. And uh, Bilal was the last man holding out. And 126 is what Omane made in 46 overs. Let's take a look at the bowling. Four wickets for Tanzim. Two for Rakibul and two for Joy. One apiece for Shak Mehdi and Mundal. So Naim Sheikh really get a move on. There you go. That's uh, Tansim Hassan, his partner. I thought he bowled decently well in the uh, first outing. 57 wickets uh, in 58 games. Kalimullah will look to take it away from the left-hander. Off the mark, uh, straight away. It's totally different Short to what players uh, who've driven Oman for the last decade. They just can't afford to do that. They need to hold on to those. So that should have been taken. Ayan Khan, it is a gully. And look at that extra bounce that Kali Muller gets. Deceives the batter completely. I know it's the fingertips, but it should have been taken. And it would have been a duck for Sheikh, but instead he's off the mark. That would have been the dream start. When you're defending a low total, everything has to go your way. You have to take those chances. There is the uh, reply. Going hard at that uh, Sheikh, and he gets a boundary. First of uh, the uh, Bangladesh is a little bit of width on offer. It's come off the edge, but it's gone between the backward point and the gully. Could have been such a different start here for Oman, but Bangladesh are showing Bilal 25 off 64, and then just four for Bilal. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Didn't try to hit it too hard, just went through with it. Used the pace of the bowler. The timing and the placement was perfect. Yeah, beautiful placement. Driven elegantly through the covers. At first deep in the crease, so the bowler will have seen that. He goes fuller as a response, tries to get the Yorker in. And then just half a skip from Tanzi to San down the ground. Oh, this time he goes over. Long off for a six. And this is how Tansit plays, isn't it, uh, Andrew? He just waits for those to come in. Shot of the day, maybe even. Shot of Bangladesh's tournament thus far. The 22-year-old from Bagra in Bangladesh. Well, this is bashful. Look at that. Stand and deliver. Really good shot down the ground. Wasn't even that full, oh, certainly wasn't a half volley, but he's lined up Kali Muller. 
Playing with soft hands, but uh, gets it into the gap. That will beat the fielder. He didn't try to hit it hard. I thought he just dropped his hands on that. Uh, and timing. Raw, pure timing and class from Tanzid Hassan. Look at that. Just to push. Talk about timing. What you want to do is get your bat impacting the ball just as the bowler is getting it to go past it. Oh, that's lucky, but uh, that will also run away to the boundary. The ball would feel unlucky, but Tansin will take it. Bangladesh is on a roll here. Well, I think Tanzid Hassan will say, look in the book, it's four. But real fortune, good comeback. He dragged his length back, clearly Cali Muller. Not as full right around the game, well ahead of the rate. Well, just go fetch that one. That's uh, what uh, Sheikh said. Short, with an offer. So sorry, it's a full toss. And banged into the point bound. Yeah, massive oh. full bunger. And just hammered away. Immediately after the delivery, we probably won't see it. Fayaz but took his hands and wiped them all down the front of his trousers. The target they're looking at well 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 second boundary of the over and it's 36 but well this is the boundary of uh, the last ball of the previous over fifth on offer and that just went cracking into the uh, point boundary Well, well, save your legs for that because uh, Bilal starting his uh, first over has been crashed to the cover region. Hammered over pitch, a little bit of nerves. First time on a stage this big from Hamid Bilal. And look at that square drive. We've been treated to some stroke play in this second innings. It's been the antithesis playing for places in six weeks' time. This is unbelievable. Just look at that. Just punched through the cover region. And somewhere around this SSC ground, there's a curator watching on going, that's how good a wicket this is. We didn't see it in the first innings. Look at that. Races away, pumped into the ground. And oh man, they are listening. Yeah, come on, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. They pack the offside, they bring an extra fielder in, take the slip out, and still the batsman finds the gap, and it is not good feeling as well. Well, peaks and troughs, aren't there in life? Whatever we talk about, whether it's sport or careers, right here, after the zenith, the highs of Zimbabwe, we're looking at Nadirs, we're looking at lows here for Oman. This is not the standard you'd expect. Down the track. Didn't get the uh, in the middle of the bat, but it just might be pulled in. Yes, it is. They pick a couple. Didn't get it in the middle of the bat. Got in the fielders outside the circle. Use your feet. Try to disrupt Cali Muller's length. Oh, just look at that. Stand and deliver. On the up. Tansin is meaning business here. He wants to end this off quick get back to the hotel and relax and take the rest of the off as well really impressive just 22 years of age another one putting his name up in lights well he goes down the track and uh, gets a maximum of that he is really really wanting to make sure that they get it before that 13th over quality absolute quality when good batting is played like this look at the free flow of the bat and just a duck of the head he knew from the moment it pinged off it it was six all the way up towards us there you can see us in the background my jaw was dropped as that one has soared into the sky 
Oh man, listless. Well, he gets in top edge, but that will also go down to the boundary. They say swing hard when you swing hard, and it's 63 for na 67 for none at the end of seven. Well, uses that bottom hand to perfection. One bounce down to long on for another boundary. Now that's what I'm talking about. If you miss your length by a fraction, that's what happens. 71 for no loss. And their participation in events like these is not all lost for Oman A eh? or for Nepal or for any side that's looking to progress. Yeah, just throws his bat at it. There's too much width, fuller length, and you trust your hands and eye. It's made so, look so simple, and that's where the problem is the consistency missing you're talking about uh, the associates coming in playing with the big boys even though it's a uh, the a team of bangladesh despite that it's it's the pressure so it, it is a good learning curve provided you're ready to learn and and just uh, identify those weak links couple of runs couple of runs and that takes turns it to a well deserved 50 at 50 of just 28 deliveries that's a very very good knock it's been an emphatic knock 50s in the last uh, a list of matches six of them he's been consistent played for the darker premier league and he's uh, got a bunch of them he carries on uh, the good work here very impressive uh, Tanzid Hassan so everything, everything is a learning process. He's gone right through that field at point, just brushing his fingernails. Still's got pace to it. Tanzid is in some serious mood here. 81 now. Isn't he? Everything he's doing is turning to gold. Even the misfields, maybe not from the midi part of that, possibly slicing it in outer half, but the full flourish of the bat. That's a good shot. It's the placement that's the key. And he puts so much power behind those shots, Tanzid. Becomes a very tough for the fielders inside the circle. He almost had 15 yards to put hand to it. Just the amount of time he had. The shortness of the ball, the width of it, he rocks back, ensures that it's back with a point. Sorts of comparisons here in the boundaries between the two sides. <laughs> Apish and he'll clear mid on. He'll go one bounce, another boundary. That makes it 16 boundaries and two sixes in just inside 11 overs compared to the nine boundaries and a six and 46 overs from the opposition. It tells the story, doesn't it? But here I felt that he had a bit of luck. It could have gone to one of the two fielders on the onside. It swung around, did manage to get the meaty part of the bat, it, but it's it's the region where the ball went. You want to see people suffer in the com box. Sekunda. Uh, he shimmies down the wicket, gets a hold of it, and that's run away to the boundary to finish the over. 14 overs have been completed. Bangladesh, a move on to 109 without loss. And it's also time. That's a poor ball. Oh, he's going to be caught. He's hit it down the throat. Uh, they lost their first wicket, that of uh, Tansit. He, he could have put that one away. Well, the heat, it gets to you. It's 30 degrees, but there's a real feel of 38 when you take in the humidity. And even though it was dragged down a touch, it was a little bit quicker from Akib. Just went on with the arm. And the simplest of catches, Kali Muller takes down at long on. Finally, some joy for Oman. It won't be a 10-wicket defeat, and Tanzid... Must be wishing that that drinks break never came. Is oh, got interrupted, and he's hold out. Very good innings though. He was outstanding. He made 68 off just 49. Score 109 for one. Yeah. And this is up in there. Uh, he's the fielder getting under that one. Oh, the captain departs. That is a very poor shot. He's trying to hit against the spin. One captain dismisses another. And I think Saif Hassan has to have a long look at himself here. You're leading your country. Maybe the A team. 
got to play more responsibly than that. Get your side over the line. That's not going to help his average in this day cricket. He's gone for a second ball. Duck just holds out. Aki Bilias is a sharp turning leg spinner. We saw him pick up two wickets in the first game. And he's got two goals finally on the faces of the Omanis. And a pat in the back for the captain. He's dismissed his opposite number. It's 109 for two. I suspect. Oh, oh that'll run away. That will run away for a boundary. Zakir is off the mark. 14 more needed. At the end of the year, 15th is one. Oh, 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 he's missed that. And that will run away to the boundary. <laughs> oh, it's buys. And that's the over. It's 121 for two. Well, he goes inside out and gets a boundary. <laughs> Andrew, you got it right, man. I watch a lot of cricket. In fact, there's a ludicrous amount of cricket I watch. It's all I do. <laughs> and there you go. That's the uh, winning runs uh, for the uh, Bangladeshi A team. And they do it in 16.3 uh, overs. And Bangladesh win by eight wickets.